In our previous session, we were instructed and reminded by Paul that all who would come to simple belief of the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4, by grace through faith, are baptized by Holy Spirit into the new creature, the body of Christ. Essentially, Holy Spirit at this point is performing a circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, Colossians 2 verse 11 such that physical circumcision no longer means anything and is of no importance. From this point, Paul continues as he closes his epistle to the Galatians. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy, and upon the Israel of God. From henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Unto the Galatians written from Rome. Galatians 6 verses 16 to 18. Let's see what Paul is saying. Paul makes a pretty unique statement as he closes this epistle to the Galatian believers. And to understand the significance of this statement, we must go back to the beginning. Remember Paul's purpose and concern in writing this epistle was expressed in Galatians 1 verses 6 to 7 where he stated, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Since making this statement, Paul has expended considerable energy effort in his writing to demonstrate the importance and uniqueness of his apostleship, and the message given him by the risen, ascended, and glorified Lord Jesus Christ thereby He has shown the Galatians that Israel's kingdom gospel with its new covenant anticipation of Israel, being empowered to know and obey the law, Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 34, is not another gospel at this time. Note, it will be in the millennial reign of Christ. And thus, in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Galatians 6 verse 15 dot And now Paul concludes and offers to those who understand and embrace the message of this epistle. As many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy, and upon the Israel of God. For the true Israel of God, Paul would expect to embrace this message and understand their having been concluded in unbelief, that he might have mercy upon all Romans. 1132. And the change that happened with the revelation of the mystery to Paul. Believer, understand that embrace the power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, Romans 16 verse 25, which Christ revealed to Paul to reveal to us, and walk according to this rule. Special note, I hope you have enjoyed this dashboard study of Galatians and that it has challenged you to engage in your own study of this epistle. It is my belief that a solid understanding of Galatians is vital to understanding how God is operating in the dispensation of the grace of God, Ephesians 3 verse 2 today, and why it is so important to be rightly dividing the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2 15b.